Good morning, people. It's Awakened Sheeple. It's 9 a.m. I'm in between projects, and I thought I would just bring up something. I was listening to another video. I stopped, watched a video real quick, and dream interpretation kind of thing. It was pretty cool. And the flowers were white roses, So, because I've seen them. And he says that's true. So the bride comes in white, wears white, and has white roses. And the other part was sweets and treats. So when the Lord sets the banquet table, you better believe he's, he knows how to set a banquet table. Um, all of our favorites, whatever those might happen to be, but they're better. Because <laughs> you don't get fat, you don't, you don't, uh, you don't overeat, you know, and it's, it's pretty cool because the way he's teaching us to live is like a set of standards, morals, guidelines. So when you show up to the table, don't gobble, you know, eat politely, dine with etiquette, tact. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's some people when they hit the table, it's like, good Lord. Let me give you a, for instance, we invite, uh, invited a friend over and he brought his girlfriend and we had cooked ribs. So slow cooked ribs, you know, eight, 12 hours, whatever it was, we put them in for a long time and they came out wonderful. They pretty, the meat comes off the bone pretty much. And everybody had a rack on their plate. So when we all sat down at the dinner table, everybody had their knives and forks and plates and stuff. And this girl, I'm not going to mention names because she'll never see this or anything, but I mean, it was like, oh my God, literally. She grabbed the, the knife and fork like caveman, right? Stabs the rack and she's got the knife pointing straight down. She stabs the meat. She's like poking it. And the meat literally does this cartwheel thing up in the air and lands back on her plate. And I, I looked over at my wife and she's just watching. She's like, you know, got her napkin up going like, oh my God. <laughs> I've never seen nothing like it. So when you show up at the dinner table, um, there is manners and proper etiquette for <laughs> dining at the Lord's table. So just keep that in mind and, you know... Remember, don't wolf your food down and things like that because it's not <laughs> acceptable up there, I guess. And uh, praise Jesus in every way. So God bless each and every single one of you every day. And may you find peace and happiness in the Lord. Um, my uncle passed away just yesterday or the day before. I didn't even really, I had a hint when I saw a post on a social medium and I'm like, no, that couldn't be my uncle. And But, you know, my aunt had talked to me just a couple, three weeks ago and said, pray for him. He's We're going to have to take him to the hospital. And I did, and the Lord wouldn't tell me anything except he was going to be with him. And I was like, well, praise God. And I didn't worry about it too much. And then I find out he's passed away. And I'm like, well, I guess you were with him, and he's with you now. So praise God for that. And it's <laughs> it's a little different, you know. I do feel sorry and or sorrow and stuff, but the Lord's letting me get through it so that I'm not, because he was a really nice guy, you know? I mean, ever, we went over there every Easter and the Christmases, and, you know, the big, they had a huge family on a big ranch, so it was wonderful. And it's something you look forward to every year, getting out of that little tiny town I grew up in. I mean, everybody knowing everybody, like tiny town and out in the middle of the mountains. So it took an hour and a half just to get into town. <laughs> yeah, it took an hour and a half to get to town. So talking mountains. And it was a real treat to go to their place because they had a huge trampoline. It was always fun. He was always happy and smiling. And well, they were God-fearing family. So, you know, some things, you know, when the Lord says, just trust you, you do. And I'm going to trust him that he's got my uncle and my grandmother and the rest of the people that have gone before. We're all going to meet up there and it'll all be good. But the banquet table's pretty much being set or is set. And 
Sweets and treats is what he says to me. And it means everybody's favorites. And there's enough for everybody, so you don't have to, you don't have to worry. <laughs> so praise Jesus. Have a wonderful day.